Hi, welcome to Dear Cyber Sue Advice Show. I'm Susan McCord, I'm the host. Today's topic is dating hygiene. Yes, we have to go there, believe it or not. One of the reasons I want to do this video is I've questioned a lot of men and women about what their pet peeves are when they're out dating. So let's talk about the biggest one and the one that you would think would be not an issue because it's such a given that you should take care of this. And that is BO, body odor of any kind. The best way to do this, of course, is to shower right before your date. But I know there's a lot of people out there who aren't really big into deodorant and everything these days. But find some kind of solution that if you're totally opposed to putting deodorant in your, under your armpits, you find something that can still help with that problem. Because so many people don't even know that they have an odor. I, I don't understand how you can live with yourself sometimes, but this happens. I dated a guy a long time ago who um, just thought that he didn't need deodorant. And it was so difficult to be put in that place when you're dating someone that you really like. And it didn't happen all the time, but it happened enough that I just almost stopped seeing him. It took my sister to come into the room one day when we were sitting there and said, Jesus Christ, somebody needs some deodorant. Seriously, and it worked because I said, well, I put mine on this morning and he admitted he hadn't put his on. So that changed it up. But the thing is, you shouldn't have to tell somebody. And here's another one. Okay. <laughs> Again, this is a given. You don't know sometimes when you're going to be lucky enough to get to the place after you've been dating them that you go home with them and they come and share your bed with you. Be prepared. Do not have sheets that haven't been washed for a month or th remnants lying around the room where maybe somebody else has been before. All these things, you want to always be prepared so that if you're dating and you have a really good connection and it goes to the next level, you're prepped and ready for when they come back to your home. Another thing, if you live with roommates, make sure you're all on board with the hygiene and the cleanliness of your home. Nobody wants to bring their girl back or their guy back to a home that has been, you know, beer bottles all over the place or, or girls underwear and stuff strewn around the room. Take pride in where you live. Take pride in how you look and how you come across. And whatever you do, wear clean clothes. I've gone on dates many times where the guy I'm with has got like stuff all down the front of his shirt. Now, I know sometimes it happens at the last minute and you don't see it, but I'm just saying be aware, be prepared for being your best you can be on every date you go on. Because first of all, you don't want to get a reputation out there. And second of all, why not be the best you can be? Do you want, want, do you want to meet somebody that thinks the same way you do on that level? I think you do. Another one that a lot of people don't know is and I think this happens a lot more with women because men tend to get in a shower, they got short hair, they wash it just naturally every time they have a shower. Whereas women don't always do that. So what happens is you can take on an odor within your hair because it, it just gets sort of a musky smell to it. So if you're not going to wash your hair, you know, at least two to three times a week, ladies, at least do something that can help with the natural oils and the scent that comes within your within the hairline because it can be a really um, offensive musky odor. So I'm just saying that a lot of us don't know that because if you're trying to keep the natural oils in your hair, which I totally understand, um, it, it can still become sort of a, a problem when it, when you're out with a guy and he's, you know, hugging you or he puts his, he gives you a little kiss on the side of the head. I've had a lot of guys tell me this, that women's hair sometimes really takes on not a great scent. So I'm just letting you know that, okay? Another thing, everybody brush your teeth and stick that floss in there because you may think just brushing your teeth a couple of times a day is going to help. But if you're not going to the dentist on a regular basis and getting them cleaned, trust me when I tell you there is a, an odor that's lurking in your gum line. As gross as that sounds, that's what's happening. It doesn't just go away when you brush your teeth. So get the floss in there 
every day, regardless of whether you're going on a date, because this will help keep your, your breath fresh. And, and so when you do have to brush your teeth just before you go on a date, you're sort of covered and ready to go. You can also take those little sort of um, rubber ended, they're almost like a toothpick, and just put one in your pocket. And after dinner, after you've had dinner, go to the bathroom and just do that quickly before you go home and have the big kiss goodnight. Okay, and last but not least, I know we talked about the bedroom and everything. Your bathroom is your one of your biggest priorities in your home. And you never know when you're on a date and they want to come in and use the bathroom. Even if you're not at the stage with them where anything's going to happen. They want to use your bathroom before they drive home. Whatever the scenario. Make sure your bathroom is as clean as can be. And that means the toilet. Okay, don't forget the toilet. Under the rim, everything. And leave out certain things. If Guys, if you're having a girl over and she's, you're having dinner with her at your home, make sure there's a few feminine things underneath the counter for her just in case. And same for girls. If, you know, guys might want something like maybe a little toothbrush that's sitting there and they want to use the toothbrush, just have something ready that if they should ask and just say, well, you wouldn't happen to have an extra toothbrush, would you? They're trying to be hygienic for you, so make sure that you are taking care of them as well. So all these little things are really great reminders and be the best you can be all the time. Don't think you look cute in your sweaty gym clothes and you're meeting somebody right after for a date. It's not really that attractive. You may think you don't smell, but you know, I'm sorry, we all do. Don't think you're invincible. Be prepared for everything and anybody that may come into your life. If you're always in a hygienic state of mind, you'll always be ready to meet somebody. You won't even have to think about it. It'll just be a natural response. So I'm sorry I had to talk about this in the video, but it's still going on and it's a make or break second date, this kind of stuff. So don't ignore it. Pay attention to the hygiene for yourself and for the person you're dating. Because if you see things in the first date with somebody, again, there probably won't be a second date with them because you're not interested or they might not be interested in stuff that you've let go. Thanks everyone for listening to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please subscribe and like the video below. And thank you for all your comments. Recently, I really appreciate the show uh, topic ideas and things like that. And for visiting my blog at cybersue.com. Thanks.